Craft Flair. Craft Flair is a new branch in the art of flair. What is the difference between craft, working and exhibition flair? The point of working flair is to attract guest attention to the bar, to impress your guest with your flair skills, if he has time, mood and desire to watch, and if the atmosphere of the bar where you work matches. For example, you work in some nightclub. Show flair, when I say show flair, I mean exhibition flair and high level of working flair, focused on difficult tricks, on mastery skills. Show flair made to perform on stage bar shows, flare competitions, or you can use it in the nightclubs and bars where people come to enjoy time watching bartenders with flare skills. Craft flare is intended strictly to make the drink in the most professional and good looking way possible. Craft flare can be used almost in every bar. You can use it if your guest has no mood or time to watch flare tricks. Craft supposed to be really rational. It means you have to use just the bar tools you need to prepare your drink. In craft flair, you can use simple moves, much simpler than in working flair. But every trick, every move, the way you take an object or put it on your bar station, the way you make a pour, everything is supposed to be 100% confident and professional. You have to repeat every move for thousand times in your practice room. Craft must look very hygienic. Here you can't afford to make any mistakes, to drop your objects. If you are not confident with your craft skills, better just make a drink and do not risk. Because you have to look professional behind the bar. And your craft skills are supposed to show people that you are more than a good bartender. You are the confident and professional person who has really professional skills and can give any guest a great mood through the visual beauty of your work and the amazing taste of the drink. Also really important thing about craft flair is that you have to work fast. Cocktail preparation time is supposed to be almost the same with or without craft tricks. But it doesn't mean that you have to hurry. What matters is not the speed with which you do the tricks, but the fact that you work with both your hands and you do everything without pauses, as well as your confidence in every move, as an uncertain trick takes time. So the purpose of this lesson is to give you knowledge about what craft flair is, how to start developing yourself in it and how to start to use it behind the bar. That's why now I will give you basic tricks with different bar items which you will use to make the drinks, I will explain how to use these tricks to make different cocktails and will give some advices. Important thing is that this lesson built on flair skills that I gave you on working and exhibition flair lessons level 1, 2, 3. I will not explain moves that you already have to know from these lessons. So please double check that you can do all of moves from these lessons, especially moves with one and two objects. And let's start. Shaker. First of all, please double check that you can do all of basic moves with shaker. Use these moves to take the shaker from the bar station or to put it back there.
Do shake your moves with ice or liquid inside. Pour about 10-20 ml. Put few ice cubes inside. Cheater shaker. Take this shaker and just repeat the moves that you did with normal shaker. You need it just to feel this shaker, to get used to weight and size of it, to feel confident when you work with this shaker behind the bar. Bottle. Take your bottle and repeat all the basic moves we learned on working flare lessons. Use these moves to take the bottle from your bar station. Pay big attention on flare stalls. And also really important thing, especially in craft flare, is that you have to work with bottles of different sizes and shapes and different amount of liquid inside. So practice these things in your practice room, not behind your bar. You have to know what exactly you can do with one liter bottle, with full of liquid bottle, with small or unusual shape bottle. Barrel shaker. Here we will learn different kinds of pour. First, roll pour. We already learned it on working flare level 2. So I will not explain it now.
So to do this pull, you have to start this way, hold your shaker like this, and your barrel will start from here, and then you will do this move. Your barrel will do this move, and your shaker will do this move. And pull, pull. Then you will stop your objects here and you will pull. And again, start from here and pump, pump. Pull, pull. Then just turn your shaker this way and keep pulling. So to do this pull, you have to hold your bar on a straight grip, but put your fingers like this here. And you will do this move. And with your shaker, you will do just one clip. Start from straight grip and finish the same way. And then you will do it together. Swing, one clip and pull. But you have to start and finish your move in the same time. Start, finish. And start, stop. And one, two. Do not do this move this way. It doesn't look so good. Try to start and finish this move in the same time. Also, my advice is to learn much more of other different way to pour on amazing YouTube lessons from other bartenders. Because the way you can pour ingredients into your cocktail is really, really, really important thing in your work. Ice scoop. Here we will do moves with one flip that we did with shaker and bottle on exhibition flare lessons. You have to hold your ice scoop and to catch it by the handle. You will use your ice scoop in combination with other objects. If you prefer to use it more to do some tricks with ice scoop, my advice is to keep it clean and dry, next to the ice, not inside it. This is important to prevent water droplets or pieces of ice from falling into your guest. It's the same with just one flip, with both inward or outward, but you will do it not this way, you will do it this way, in this area. So for this, hold it this way and throw it like this. So to make this move, you have to start this way, hold your object here and throw it like this. and. After one flip, just catch it this way. Pay attention that you don't have to move your wrist. You have to hold it this way to catch it. Do not try to catch it this way, this way, this way, this way. Start, catch. Start, catch. 
Start Sketch. Start Sketch. Ice. We will learn how to put ice inside the shaker. It is my ice today. My advice. When you do tricks with ice inside your shaker, do not put too much ice. It's better to put just few cubes, do your trick and then add some more ice if you need it. So to do these tricks with ice, first of all you have to learn how to throw your shaker out of your ice tube. So just put your shaker inside your ice tube this way and just throw it hand to hand with no flips. Really important thing here is that you have to throw it not this way, not throw it up. You have to throw it by this direction. Why? Because you have ice inside. And if you will throw your shaker like up, down, so you will lose your ice. And if you will throw it this way, the ice will be inside. And again, here, then throw it. Here, do neck pass, hold it like this. You can help yourself with your finger here. And, and again, do not throw it up. And throw it, do it past that. And here again, do not throw it like up, down. Throw it this way. Just 
turn your shaker this way and put it inside your ice cook and then throw it. You can throw it here, or here, or here. And let's do it with ice. Thumb, 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 thumb. And again. Thumb, thumb. Napkins. There are a lot of different interesting and cool tricks with napkins. I will show you just few simplest. There we use these napkins just to show you how it works. So take it, place it on the napkin, and then put it here. Then the same move, but you will not put it here, you will throw it. Throw it, pitch, put. And then you have to put two napkins. Hold it here and here. Then first napkin from here. Put here and then this one you will just put on the bar station and this one you will put this way and pump 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 and pump and if you like to work with napkins do not stop on these basic moves and learn more from other bartenders also try to be creative and invent your own moves. Glasses. In your practice room you have to work with different kinds of glasses. You can start by repeating the moves we already did with shaker. Will you use these tricks in your work or not, you will decide yourself depending on the bar where you work. But you need to look and feel confident when you touch the glass to make your drink. And your experience in practice room will really help you here. Bar pour bottles. Here tricks depends on what type of this bottle you have. What size, amount of liquid or puree inside, can you close and open it or not. 
So do different tricks from our working and exhibition flare lessons with different kinds of these barrels. Bar spoon. Hold it like this, and then put middle finger, then the next one, and again this, and move it here, and middle, fourth, second, here. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So you will hold the spoon here, this way, and then you will move your hand here, and then release your spoon and hold it just with two fingers, and do this move. Then again, help yourself with the thumb, and move it here, then here, and just hold it with two fingers, then take it and move here. Then again release and move here and then here, up, down, up, down, up, down, and pump, 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 pump. So this move is like this one plus this one. To start to learn it, you have to be good with this move, you have to be good with this move, and the next step, do this move, but 
Hold your hands not this way, hold it this way. Hold it with two of your fingers like this and then here, here and here and here. Pump, 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 pump. And it will look like this. One, two, pump, pump, pump. One, two, pump, pump, pump. Bar Muddler. If you wish to do tricks with Bar Muddler, practice a lot of different moves from working and exhibition flair with it. Do the moves using your fingers and create your own moves. Remember that if you wish to become professional with your craft flair skills, you have to do a lot of different extra moves with every object that you use in your work. You need to be confident when you touch the object. To feel object really good, to know exactly what you can do with this object, how you want to use it to make this cocktail. And you also have to know a range of different tricks with every object, not just one trick. Otherwise your guest will be bored to look at you doing the same trick every time. This move is just the same with scroll down the shape. You will just hold your mother this way and you will move it here and get it this way. Start this way, move it here, here, here.
bar jigger. When you work with jigger, really important is how do you hold it, how do you pour into it and from it. So practice how to hold the jigger into your fingers, how to take it from your bar station and put it back there, how to pour into and out of it. Also practice different moves from working at exhibition flare. And learn how to do the same moves, but catch the jigger into your fingers. This moves close to the moves with the bar spoon. So you just have to change your jigger in your fingers. Pam, pam. Pam, pam. Pam, pam, pam. Pam, pam. Just learn how to do it. So you will hold your jigger with these fingers and then you will pour and put it here. Second, you can start like this, take your jigger this way and move it here. Then you will pour and pour, pour it again here. And then you can take it this way, then you will move it here, and then you will just turn your wrist like this. Then you will pour, and from here you will pour this way, and then you can pour it like this, or from here you can take it here, and then
Jigger and Barrel. Here I will show you different types of pour. You can do these moves easily if you already done moves with Jigger and moves with Barrel and Shaker. And don't forget to practice it with different types of bottles and different amount of liquid inside these bottles. So to do this pour, you just take your jigger this way and you pour it on a bottle of pour pot. Bottle you will take like this, this way, and then you will turn it like this. Then you make a pour and you pour it this way. To do this pour, you just take your jigger this way and turn your hand like this. Then you take your bottle this way, put your fingers here, and you pour this way. Then you pour it like this, change and put here. Try to do it at the same time. To do this move, take your jigger this way, bigger side here, then roll pour here, and here, 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 and when it's here, just change your hands. Change your hands and roll it here. Here just take your bottle and start to pour. First practice it with no liquid inside your bottle. Strainer. First repeat the moves we did with ice scoop. And then practice how to catch your strainer inside the shaker.
shaker and chitter shaker. First, throw your chitter shaker inside the shaker this way. Then do the same moves but catch the cheater shaker this way. And now we will learn how you can put the eyes using these objects. To do it this way, you have to take your shaker, for example this way, hold it like this, put your eyes inside, change grip this way, and then this way, put your cheater shaker inside this one. And here a little advice. Do not just move it like this. You have to push it with your eyes hook here, up, and hold it by your fingers down. So in this case, you will flip it.
take your chitter shaker with your fingers like this and oh, do this move and again take oh. then grab your shaker and your objects will be in this position then put some ice inside this way put your chitter shaker here in your ice scoop then do just half clip take your shaker this way and throw chitter shaker inside first do it with no ice And also practice separate two last moves. This one and this one. So the rhythm of this move is not throw, catch, throw, catch. Throw, catch, throw, catch. No, it's a long time, it's a big power. The rhythm of this move is throw, throw, catch. Throw, throw, catch. And again, throw, throw, catch. And now the sides. Throw, throw, catch. How to make a cocktail using craft player skills. First we will do one long drink, second we will do two the same or different long drinks in the same time and finally we will do cocktail using shaker method. I will show you the example of how you can do it using the skills you already have. So, for example, we have to prepare a screwdriver. We have glass, we have napkin, we have jigger, we have straws, we have piece of orange for a garnish, we have ice, we have vodka. So, we start with the napkin, you put it here and here. And then you take your glass. You throw it this way. But important thing that you have to work with both your hands and you have to work with no palm. So you will do palm and while this hand put napkin here, you already watch your glass and take it. It's supposed to look like this. Palm, palm, I already took my glass and pump and again one two three then you just put some ice in your glass and put it here ice scoop you put in there and do not put your glass on the napkin it's better to prepare your cocktail here and after it's ready put it on the napkin then you take your jigger this way and synchronously with this you take your barrel and you make a pour. Palm. Then you pull your barrel and you pour your water. Take your jigger this way and put it here. While you put your jigger here, this hand already free. So you have time to take your juice. For example, it's our juice. So so you finish your pour, you put this bottle here, you pour, and this hand is free. So you finish pour, you put your jigger here, and by this hand you already take this object. Then you just throw it or you do stall 
and you pour. While you pour, don't spend your time, you just put your straw here and your garnish. Then you pour your juice here and by this hand you put your cocktail here. So you don't spend your time. For example, we have to prepare two long drinks, two different long drinks or two the same long drinks. For example, we do um, gin tonic and rum cola. You take your napkins, you do this move, then you take your glass and take your second glass. Bam. So you do it this way, you throw it here, you do neck pass, then you move it here, while you move it here, you take your second glass this way, then you change grip here and turn this glass this way and do it at the same time, thumb, and then you pull it together and we have thumb, thumb, thumb. Pump, pump, pump. Then you take your shaker. We don't need any shaker to prepare these cocktails, but we will use it to put some ice. So you take your shaker, you put some ice inside, then you change grip, you take again ice, and you put it here. And again, pump. Bam, bam, bam. In this case, you will put ice in both of your glasses in the same time and you will do it in an interesting way. I think you agree with me that if you do it like this, it will be long and boring. So, bam, 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 bam. Then, do it this way, again change grip on your shaker, place it here, put a nice loop in the ice and you finish it this way. Then you take your gin and your own, you do this move and just pull. pour. Place it here, then take your tonic and your what is it, pot and pour it. Then take your straws and garnishes. And your cocktails are ready. So here you do two the same cocktails. So you work with two of your hands. You work it sometimes together, sometimes you do some different moves. But again, with both of your hands.
We have napkin, we have cocktail glass, we have gin, we have apricot, and we have orange. Also, we have our strainer, we have chitter shaker, 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 ice cube ice. So, we start this way. You just take your glass like this and put it here. And you use your other hand to take the napkin. And five. Then you take your chitter shaker like this and grab your shaker. And at this time, you take your ice scoop and take some ice. So, bump, bump. You put your eyes inside. Do this move. Bump, bump. Then you put your shakers here, and in this time, in the same time, you take some ice, you put it in your glass. Then you take your jigger, you put it on a pool spot, on your bottle, and you do pour. You place your bottle here, and you pour it. Then you just throw your trigger, you take your bottle with apricot, do this move and change grip on your trigger this way and do roll pull. Here, here, take it this way, pull it and pull it here. Then this bottle you already place here and you throw your trigger take it here pull your orange pour it here then while you put your trigger here you take your glass throw the ice by this hand you take your cheater shaker out here, this hand, you take your strainer. By this hand, you take your shaker. You throw it here. And then... Then you take it out. You do shake. This you can put here, or you can put it here. You put your strainer inside. And you pour your drink. skills. You just have to understand what do you have to do to prepare your cocktail and then you switch simple moves to craft moves. So guys, hope this lesson was interesting and helpful for you. If you still have some questions, just write me in the comments or on my Instagram page and I will try to help you. Good luck and see you on my next lessons.